Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imona Project. We're here at the Imona Project, are continuing in our series uh, with respect to uh, inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice. And uh, the last couple of videos, we've been talking about the, the Mahoikas, the, uh, the dispute uh, of Korach Vadoso, Korach and his, uh, his followers and his uh, congregation, his group. And one of the things that strikes me when every time I read this passage in the book of Numbers in chapter 16 was how, how useless and unnecessary it was. I won't say stupid and foolish. I mean, it, it just, it was so unnecessary and just so useless. So, this is not just a story. From 3,500 years ago, this is the Torah speaks to us. The Torah speaks to us here in our time. God is speaking to us. What is the Creator giving to us with respect to machlaikas, with respect to dispute, confrontation? And, in my view, an unnecessary argument. How do we avoid unnecessary arguments? What can we do to avoid unnecessary quarrels and disputes. As so often happens, I turn to the wise words of the Vilna Gaon. And um, in addressing this issue, avoiding quarrels, arguments, especially useless ones, the Vilna Gaon writes, even if someone has done something wrong to you, this is somebody who's, who's wronged you, even if someone has done something wrong to you, before entering into an argument with him, think of the outcome you are striving for. Think of what you're trying to accomplish. Think of the outcome you're striving for. If there will be no practical benefit from your argument, avoid it. And it was uh, Rabbi Zelig Pliskin commenting on the Vilna uh, uh, words that says, arguing with someone just to vent, just to um, let out your feelings of frustration can cause many problems. Before you enter into an argument with another person, ask yourself, remember the Vilna Gaon's words, ask yourself, what outcome am I pursuing? What's going to come of this? Say only those things that are likely to help you reach the outcome you desire. If you want this to be the outcome, don't say anything that's not going to go toward that outcome. Choose your words wisely and few words. Say only those things that are likely to help you reach the outcome you desire. Be careful not to make remarks that will cause pain or lead to anger. When you want someone to see your point of view, be polite. Listen to what he has to say. This will usually, Bezra Hashem, you know, God's help, this will usually motivate the other person to reciprocate and hopefully give your side a fair hearing. Whenever you become involved in a needless argument, you're already in. You, you, can't help it, you're sucked into an argument. Whenever you become involved in a needless argument, use it as a learning experience to know what to avoid saying in future encounters. Um, we can learn from almost anything. If nothing else, if something bad happens, if it's a disaster, and just it's just you make a total hash out of it, Okay, at least I'll use this as an adverse example. I may make other mistakes, but I'm going to try not to make this mistake again. The way I got sucked into this argument, the way I let my temper get away with me and I said things, something that was hurtful, didn't benefit, any, didn't benefit anybody. I just wanted to put in a, a zetz. I want to put, give him a, a verbal smack. I wanted to, to fight back. No. Be cool-headed. What am I hoping to accomplish? And then keep your eye on the ball. Say, any, say things that are going to lead to that. Avoid any other extraneous comments, 
Don't put in your personal editorials. And that is the way the Vilna Gaon, as expounded by Rabbi Zelig, uh, Zelig Pliskin, uh, offers suggestion on how to avoid a useless argument. God forbid we ever uh, do anything even remotely resembling the uh, Mechoikas, the dispute um, that Korach uh, started up with uh, Moses. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.